What? Is there such a place? <laughs> I, mistress, and Petruchio is the master that teacheth tricks eleven and twenty long to tame a shrew and charm her chattering tongue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Forsooth, I got up for my life! <laughs> the more my wrong, the more his spite appears. What? Did he marry me to famish me? Beggars that come unto my father's door upon entreaty at present aims. Or if not elsewhere, I met with charity. But I, who never knew how to entreat, nor never needed that I should entreat, am starved for me. <laughs> Giddy for lack of sleep. <laughs> 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 Twere deadly sickness rules present death. I pray thee, go get me some repast. I care not what it is, so be wholesome food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, what say you to a, a fat tripe? Finely broiled. I like it well, good groom. You'll fetch it me. Oh, I cannot tell. I fear tis choleric. Hmm. Oh, what say you to a piece of beef and mustard? A dish that I do love to feed upon. Aye, but the mustard is too hot a little. Why, then the beef and let the mustard rest. Nay, then, I will not. You shall have the mustard, or else you get no beef of Grumio. Then, then one or both, or anything thou wilt. Why, the mustard without the beef? Oh, oh, get thee gone, thee false deluding slave that feedest me with the very name of meat. Sorrow on the pack of you that triumph in my misery. Go, get thee gone, I say. What, sweeting all along? Mistress, what cheer? <laughs> Faith as cold as can be. Pluck up thy spirits, look cheerfully upon me. Look, love, how diligent I am to dress thy meat myself and bring it to thee. I'm sure this kindness merits thanks. <laughs> what? Not a word? And all my pains assorted to no proof. Here, take the dish away. <laughs> ah, come, Taylor, let's see it. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a masking stuff is here. What is this, a sleeve? It's like a demi cannon. What, cobbed up and down like an apple tart? Here, snip and nip and cut and slish and slash like a censer to a barber shop. Why? What, I devil's name, Taylor, cost thou this? You bid me make it orderly well, according to the fashion time. <laughs> <laughs> to marry, and did, but I've not bid thee, mar it to the time, or none of it. Hence, make your best of it. <sighs> I've never seen a better fashion gown, more quaint, more pleasing, nor more commendable. But like you mean to make a puppet of me. Why, true, he means to make a puppet of thee. <coughs> she says your worship means to make a puppet of her. Ooh! Oh, oh monstrous arrogance. <laughs> thou liest, thou dimple, thou thread. <clears throat> I tell thee, I, that thou hast marred her gown. Your worship is deceived. The gown is made just as my master had direction. The Grumio gave me order how it should be done. I gave him no order. I gave him the stuff. But how did you desire it should be done? Marry, sir, with needle and thread. But did you not request to have it cut? Oh, I bid thy master cut out the gown. I did not bid him cut it to pieces. Ergo thou liest. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here's the fashion's note to testify. <gasps> Read it. The note lies in his throat if he say I said so. Impermiss a loose body gown. <laughs> Master, if I ever said a loose body gown, <laughs> sell me in the skirts of it and beat me to death with a bottom of brown thread, I said a gown. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. With a small compassed 
cape. I confess the cape. <laughs> With the trunk sleeve. I confess two sleeves. <laughs> the sleeves give you say cut eye. There's the villainy. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Error in the bill, sir. Error in the bill. I commanded the sleeves should be cut out and sewed up again. And that I'll prove upon thee. Though thy little finger be armed in a thimble. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kate, we will unto your father's. It is now some seven o'clock, and we should be there by dinner time. I dare assure you, sir, tis almost two, and twill be supper time ere you come there. It shall be seven. Look what I do, or think to do, you're still crossing it. <laughs> Sirs! Oh. <laughs> That's alone? <laughs> I will not go today, and ere I do, it will be what o'clock I say it is. <laughs> Come on, my God's name! <laughs> Once more toward our father. <laughs> Good, how brightly shines the moon tonight. The moon? It is not moonlight now, it is the sun. I say it is the moon that shines so bright. I say it is the sun that shines so bright. It shall be moon or star or what I list or ere I journey to your father's house alone. Nothing but cross, then we'll cross. Say as he says, or we shall never go. <laughs> Forward, I pray, since we've come so far, and be it moon or sun or what you please. And if you please to call to rush candle, henceforth I vow it shall be so for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Nay, then you lie, it is the blessed sun. <laughs> Thank God be blessed, it is the blessed sun. But sun it is not when you say it is not, and the moon changes even as your mind. What you shall have it named, so it shall be so, for Katharina. Petruchio, go thy ways, thy field is won. <sighs> well, forward, forward. <laughs> but soft, what company is here? There, sir. And you, my merry mistress, Mm -hmm. That with your strange encounter much amazed me. My name is called Vincentia, my dwelling Pisa, and bound I am to Padua there to visit a son of mine which long I have not seen. What is his name? Lucentio, gentle sir. Happily we met the happier for thy son, as well as reverend age, I may entitle thee my loving mother, the sister to this gentlewoman, <laughs> thy son hath married. <laughs> and do not be grieved, she is of good esteem and of noble birth, her dowry wealthy. And come, let us journey to see thy honest son. But is it true? I do assure thee, so it is. Oh, come, come, and see the truth hereof. Thy first merriment hath made thee jealous. <laughs> 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 At last so long, our jarring notes agree. <laughs> my fair Bianca, bid my mother welcome. This <laughs> welcome thy father. <laughs> Brother Petruchio, uh, Sister Katharina, and thou Hortensio with thy <laughs> loving widow. Feast with the best and welcome to my house. My banquet is too close our stomachs, I pray you, after our great good cheer, sit down. For now, we sit the chat as well as eat. <sighs> Nothing but sit and sit and eat and ever. How do you all afford this kindness, son Petruchio? How do you all afford nothing but what is kind? For both our sakes, I would that word were true. Oh. <laughs> 